What's up guys, in today's video I go over the Penta Demon Boost Pedal by This Heavy Earth. Stay tuned. What is up my fam? It's your boy Luis Torres and I have the Penta Demon Boost Pedal by This Heavy Earth. They currently have pre-orders open right now. I'll put a link below in the description. That way you guys can get your own. Uh, you can either get them in red or you can get them black on black. This is black on red and I love that there's a demon there. Uh, so uh, you, you, you have three knobs. That's all you really need when it comes down to just a boost pedal. You have boost in the, in the center, you have bass, and you have treble to sculpt your frequency. And as usual, whenever I'm using a boost pedal, I love running it out of my Mesa rectifiers, just because, like you always hear, uh, those amps are kind of flub fests, uh, which is great because you always want to build your house on a solid foundation, and that's what the rectifier really is. If you're cuckoo and you're using a rectifier without a boost, what is wrong with you? You need to get yourself a Penta Demon right now. Uh, so let me go ahead and plug this guy in. I will be using my uh, what? 2000 what? 16, I think. Um, ESP E2M2 uh, with the Gary Holt EMGs in the bridge and neck pickup. But we don't care about the neck pickup, right? So let me plug this guy in. All right, so this is what it sounds like with just the rectifier. And, you know, I can't stress because every once in a while, someone will shoot me a message and they're just like, this boost pedal sucks. And I'm like, bro, but what did you do? And they're just like, I just plugged it in. And I'm like, bro, you have to thicken up your amp's tone so you can work with the boost. It's not the other way around. It's not that the boost has to work with the amp. You have to adjust the amp to work with the pedal. Uh, so yeah, so just make sure if you're using any boost, just make sure you fatten up and get get that amplifier as thick and as ridiculously flubby as you can. Uh, that way the boost does its job and will tighten up the frequency and your tone. And that's where the magic is. So I'm gonna start with the crazy rectifier sounding the way it does. It's not half bad. This is the magic. Let's turn the magic off. Uh-oh, no more magic. Come on, dude, throw that magic back on. Ah, son! And 
if you can't hear that difference, bro, you got something in your ears that are just butchering things for you. So again, let me go ahead and turn off the magic because that's what it is. It's a satanic little magic box, you know? And of course the, rest, the rectifier doesn't always sound like that. I definitely dialed back the mid, I dialed back the presence, the treble, uh, added more bass. Actually, the, the bass is maxed out, but that's what you want to do. You want to get it thick because if you if your amp has too much treble and high end, you, you just end up sounding like a bunch of little freaky bees freaking out uh, because now you're just hitting way too much of the high end. Uh, so from the amp side, again, just dial back the presence, dial back the, uh, the treble, dial back the mids, uh, because now on the pedal, you actually use the bass and the treble, you you just dime the the boost uh, centered knob and everything else you just kind of adjust to taste from there. So, yo, if someone showed up at a show sounding like that, I would turn around and leave, and then rob someone outside for their money because I'm not gonna lose money on the deal. But. If they showed up like this, money well spent, kid. Magic's gone. So there you have it. Listen, and here's the one thing, you know, like if you want that chug, if you're, if, you know, and it's funny because every once in a while I'll get like a guy that's like, your tone is too chuggish. It's too, yo, it's, it's chuggalicious. So stop messing around. If you're looking for a chug fest, bro, that is the pedal to have the Penta Demon. Again, I'll put a link below. That way you guys can just go ahead and get yours. Um, I want to say you pre-order now and they are shipped in March. I don't know if it's the beginning of March, which is literally in a few days, uh, or middle. It's March. We have a full month of March. So just know it's literally one of my all-time favorite boost pedals that I've ever used. And again, you know, when I like, when I test a, pe a boost pedal, I love using my rectifier just because, you know, either people have it or and love it or they they've used it and hated it because... It's too, you know, the low end is just, you know, just takes up everything and it just sounds too thick and too, ah, too awful. And that's where this pedal comes in. And I can literally use it with my Marshall JCM 2000 DSL, uh, my Burberry Marshall TSL 100. Uh, I can use it with my Chariotone. Can't use it with a Ford just because that thing just has everything built in. Like you, you just plug right into that and, and you're done, but everything else needs it. Literally, you know, if you have a, a Randall Diablo, like, yo, that's the type of pedal that you need because that is going to make a world of a difference. So guys, thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best. Click on the link below again to check the description and the info. Click on the subscribe button. If you haven't, you jerk. Join the family. And as usual, I will talk to you soon. Oh, what's up, Sammy Sammy from Goat Whore. He's on Facebook now.